So phase one of the new driveway, or the driveway rather, starts today. They're coming to dig up all the dirt over here. That's where the shed was, right in front of us. And uh, this bush will be taken out, I guess. And the driveway will go to from about three feet off the fence to probably about just to the right of that bush or somewhere about. So they're gonna come and dig this all up with a bobcat today. It was sunny. And uh, remove the curb. And extend the curb cut over to here. So hopefully things will look a lot different when I get home. So day one is finished. They've got the bushes out. They've got the curb in. And they've got it uh, dug out. They've got these uh, forms up on the sides. It's uh, three feet from the fence over there. And then because of this big tree, it's five feet off the fence and out of there because the uh, tree needs room to grow. And three feet off the back. So then you can see that this thing, this piece is not straight. It matches the angle that that's on so that it's always 20 feet wide. And um, well, they, they found something, something I did not expect to find here. Uh, starting somewhere over here, was a big cinder block septic tank <laughs> that apparently this place had that I was not aware of. This is it right here. They, but they, fortunately, they didn't fall through it or anything with the bobcat. So they, they just dug it up or they busted the top and they filled it in. It had never been filled in. I thought that that was sort of the law. I thought you had to fill it in, but. Anyway, ended up not really being that much of a problem because they had plenty of dirt from over here. So tomorrow, it's uh, crushed concrete for the base. And uh, we'll see what this looks like tomorrow. So after a long time of saving my money and waiting and waiting, the driveway is finally here. It's 32 feet long on the right side and 42 feet long on the left side. It's four inches deep. It's got crushed concrete underneath. And from there to the back is three feet. They had to bring it up pretty high over here, so I'm going to have to uh, put some railroad ties here or something and uh, so that the dirt's not up against the fence. But they had to raise it up high so that uh, it drains properly, otherwise it would drain into my neighbor's yards. <laughs> so. so here it is. Took a long time waiting for saving up the money for it, and then when I had the money, it was too hot to pour cement, so I had to wait another two months. So I figure the Dodge <clears throat> and the Chrysler should fit on the far side, and the Oldsmobile and the Caprice should fit on uh, this side, closest to me. So let's see just how everything fits. I think I gotta get this right up against the fence in order for this to fit. The band behind it. Don't want the tires to hang over. Uh, right about there.
see if this actually is fitting. All right, just fits. <laughs> okay, so we've got the Chrysler side of the driveway. Number 19. For every ten dollars you spend on iTunes using your enrolled Visa signature card, you'll receive one entry for a chance to win. Register your card and opt in to participate at VisaSignatureFerks.com. And if you're not into spinning, you can always drive from New York. Okay, Oldsmobile. And now the Caprice. Let's see if that fits. Why did you put a record on today? A new spin. There we go. Nice. They all fit.